Hello guys, I'm doing a video on my normal ball pipe in rain. Um, I had him for four years, and he's probably um my oldest pet alongside my leopard geckos. But look, okay, I'll show you some cool features. Skin is smooth and dry not slimy um he's got a puppy mouth see the puppy mouth and those cute adorable eyes he's got over ten thousand muscles which is more than you and i so yeah he's quite cute look look at that Look at his little puppy face, puppy face. Just letting him lay on my bed for a little bit. Just look at how cute he is. You can see shiny scales, golden, uh, black. He's not slimy at Oh, it's just because his scales are smooth, people mistake it for being shiny, but I will assure you it's not that if I take the sun out of the way, they won't glisten like they do. I just ensure you that he's not a slimy, he's a very dry skin, very soft skin, snake. Every time he flickers the tongue, he presses it on the roof of the mouth to an organ called the Jacobson's organ which he divides up little scent particles to know what's going on around him. They only need two or three scent particles to pick up a whiff of something while well, we need thousands. So they have a very good sense of smell and his scales are not keeled and what keeled means is that there are these small lines at the top making it rough and less shiny. He is in the S pose and not anymore. He's a constrictor and feeds regularly on mice once every two weeks. Two weeks because one week Rain wasn't accustomed to that and he had to be fed on two weeks, that's the way I do it. And he's a really cute snake. Just look at that face. I could pop him pretty much anywhere. And he'll be absolutely fine. If I could give my hand a rest and let rain slither about because he feels comfortable in my hand. And also snakes. You see their scales. If if you look closely, you'll be able to see like an outline. That outline actually allows them to move, making them the most flexible animals on the planet and also the most dangerous. It, if people came across these often, they'd be a lot more dangerous than they are, but they're not really that, they don't come across them that often. And really, there are these um, nice snakes like. Bull pythons, corn snakes, king snakes, milk snakes, scarlet snakes, grass snakes, green grass snakes, stuff like that that make good pets. But then you go into something like a black mamba or a king cobra, a rattlesnake or an adder first try, then you don't know what you're doing, bruh. <laughs> if you get into something like a golden lancet or a um, taipan first try, you should really look up snakes. Those are the most dangerous animals on the planet. So yeah, except they seldom encounter you seldom encounter the um yellow um snakes, the golden lancet vipers, you read seldom encounter. In pet shops you can usually go pick up snakes like these or adopted snakes, you could go to a breeder. I had to go to the pet shop to get rain because well, the pet shop that I visit because I live in the UK, the pet shop that I visit is not really far. Mm. And it, they treat their animals very well. And they make sure that your snakes, lizards, dogs, 
cat, whatever you own. I own quite a lot. <laughs> Honestly. Butterfly owls, two lizards, and you, a toad, a snake, a dog, a butterfly owl, some fish, and soon some turtles. Yeah, there's quite a lot of pets. But I have to get them all supplies. Well, not the turtles. I'm getting those on the summer holidays. So, yeah. And in about three years of getting a pet milk snake, I was going to get a pet milk snake if my parents didn't take my snake out. They took my snake out. But I like my snake and I'm quite glad that he went out because my parents never found the time to take him out. Now we're going to try and do it every day. But in around three years from now, I will have my own pet milk snake. That will be when I'm, um... Never mind. Let's see. Close. To, you see, he is a normal or a spider. I'm not hundred percent sure. But if you look closely, you could see all the pigment on the scales, and that's really cool. And he's shiny, not slimy. And this snake is probably mm, one of my favorite animals. It's not my favorite animal. And he's really cute, and I just think snakes in general need more love, and there's specific species that I really think need more love, like lion snakes. Jeez, you may be thinking, if you know a lot about snakes, you may be thinking, why the heck would you want a pet venomous vine snake? I just like them, they, they look really cool, they look like those um, rhino rat snakes, which I'll be getting when I'm... I think it's 25. Mm, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be getting a vine snake in a rhino rat snake when I'm 25. And yeah. These are really cool pets. And I think they need more love. They're just so cute. And not many people own them. Probably because of the um, immense fear of snakes. Even a few of the kids in my school. When I brought snake shed, snake shed and lizard shed into school, everybody adored the lizard shed, and only a quarter of the people adored the snake shed. So yeah, it's a bit hard to understand if you know a lot about snakes. Like people say they're slimy. It's it's just smooth. I cannot stress this enough. Snakes are not slimy. They are smooth. Now, I also cannot stress enough when people actually put them into too big an enclosure because that can actually end up making the snake feel insecure and upset. They want to be in small enclosures. At least if you have a big enclosure, have a suitable hide because I know, because I heard somebody um, <coughs> kept a, a bull python in basically a garden with a hide and it actually escaped and was felt very threatened because it had no small spaces to hide in and it escaped and one of my bull pythons escaped <coughs> as a lack of well i just can't remember exactly how it escaped but it escaped over i was on holidays oops sorry rain and there we have our snake my snake say bye bye to rain oh yeah the name of the snake that escaped was called Slinky, and yeah, they're both they're both male. Rain's a male, and say bye bye to rain, rain bye.